How can a QA team support the UAT process? Highlights What are objectives of user acceptance testing? First, verify system setup for transactions and user access. Second, confirm use of system in executing business processes. Third, validate performance on business critical functions. Fourth, verify integrity of converted and additional data. Fifth, evaluate and sign off goal IF readiness. Role of QA teams in user acceptance testing. The user acceptance testing is the last QA effort before the release of the app. It is carried out in an environment that closely resembles the real world or production environment. What are the different types of user acceptance testing? First, compliance slash regulation acceptance testing. Second, alpha and beta testing. Third, operational acceptance testing. Fourth, contract acceptance testing. Fifth, black box testing. What are the tasks performed by the QA team for a successful user acceptance testing process? First, setting up tools, test data and defect management tools. Second, setting up roles and responsibilities of business users in the tools. Third, developing test cases and user acceptance testing runbook. Fourth, setting up test data in the test environment. Fifth, training business users on how to execute test cases and log defects. Sixth, retesting and regression testing of defects found during user acceptance testing. What are the tips QA teams should follow while practicing user acceptance testing? First, understand user expectations. Second, test on real-world connection factors. Third, prepare to test in advance. Fourth, set up testing throughout the project. Fifth, review the test plans regularly. Sixth, maintain a structured user acceptance testing management system. How is user acceptance testing different from other levels of testing? First, while performing this testing, instead of finding the effects, the main focus should be on verifying whether the system or the software or the app is as for the specific user context or not. Second, in this testing, it is essential to involve users as they play a great role in our testing and designing. Third, for user acceptance testing, visual evaluation is a major need to evaluate a test case. This can be achieved when the tests are performed manually. For more details, read the complete blog on px.testingexperts.com slash UAP process, or check the link in the description of video. Also, if you like the video please don't forget like, comment and share this video. Thanks.